Sir Ian McKellen has a career spanning decades, earning him an outstanding reputation among many. But one person that did not appear to afford him the same respect was the late Queen Elizabeth Ayu. The actor, A5, recalled more than one occasion where the Queen was rude to him, which left him shocked to say the least, during an interview with The Times, to promote his upcoming film The Critic, which is out September 13. The film and theater actor explained, and on the few occasions I met her she was quite rude. When I received a medal for acting, the Companion of Honor, in 2008, she said, you've been doing this for an awfully long time. I said, well, not as long as you. And for that response, he said he received a royal smile. But within moments, the queen made a barbed comment that left the actor stunned. He added, but then she said, does anyone still actually go to the theater? That's bloody rude when you're giving someone a medal for acting. It meant, does anyone care if asterisk 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 about you because I don't? Now off you go. But unfortunately, this was not an isolated event. In order to allow the journalist to fully grasp the extent of her abrupt demeanor towards him, he asked the journalist to reenact that particular moment. He continued, I'll be the queen, as he took their hand which he shoved away with some force. He added, that was her handshake, and it meant, go, go. While Price Harry's decision to quit the UK for a calmer life in America has left the nation divided, it seems Sir Ian is certainly Team Harry. During the interview, he added, I'm most definitely on Harry's side. Imagine being born into the royal family. I've been in public life a bit, but these people are in prison. They can't do anything normal. Can you imagine having to be nice to everyone you talk to? And he appears concerned at how royal duties can affect their mental health. He then said, hats off to anyone who manages to stay sane in that world, like the late Duke of Edinburgh managed to do, although even he was deeply, deeply eccentric, and I suspect deeply unhappy. Same with the present king. He sort of survives, but he is clearly damaged. As for Harry, he's probably not bright enough or doesn't have the right friends to really help himself. Mind you, he had the pick of all the pretty women in the world. I hope he's got the right one. Sir Ian recently suffered a serious fall, which he thought was severe enough to end his life. The star was playing the role of Falstaff in Henry IV Part 1 and 2, wearing a fat suit to mimic a more rotund physique. He remembered tripping over a chair and sliding on a discarded newspaper. Despite landing on an audience member, Sir Ian suffered a fractured wrist and vertebra. He recalled, As I began gliding, I thought, this is the end. I didn't know what it was the end of, certainly that night's performance. But as I progressed, I was ready to accept that I might be about to die. 